I'm a sucker, I'm a sucker. Oh, run by, run by, run by. Alright, I don't know how I'm gonna do this one. Only girl that they don't oh, he's really about. big. Quiet with a big nose. Listen for the doubt they call it. Make you out for what you say to me. Look at every single need. If you got what I need, then oh. First of all, we're going to be fishing on this series. There are some big tarpon and big snook here. I know a little bit more about tarpon and snook fishing since the last time I was here, so hopefully you can see what we can catch. I am super excited. Let's see what we can do. All right, guys. First cast of the day. It's way out there. All right, so I'm going to make this really, really quick. So basically, I fished around the pond for like an hour. I found this little canal connecting to the pond, and there I managed to catch a uh, really cool mohara with a big scar on its back, and also, unfortunately, a really nice snook. And I say unfortunately because my chest cam footage with the GoPro bugged out. It really did not come out at all. I do have some footage, but I do not have the main fight, which is super, super unfortunate. But I promise you guys, this is the only time this has happened in the entire series. Kanamahara, pretty nice snook. Um, two species down. Back to the video. All right, y'all. Another big piece of shrimp. Let's go and pitch it right back in there. Hopefully, there's another snook or something in there that's willing to bite. Oh, something just picked it up. There we go, got him. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. <laughs> well, that's uh, a new species for the trip, but not exactly what we're looking for. But a uh, little baby mangrove snapper. Nothing crazy, nothing to brag about, but let's go get him back. New species for the trip though, it's nice. All right, y'all, something just picked up the shrimp when I tossed it out there. Let's go and see what it is. There we go. Oh, it feels heavy. What do we got? Oh, big mine, big mine cichlid. Look at the size of that thing. Pick up your bud. Look at that. All right, y'all, check it out. Got ourselves on the first mine cichlid of the day. Beautiful catch. I know this isn't exactly the content that you're looking for right now, guys. I'm looking for a larger fish here that'll take the shrimp, but we did catch a mine. It was a pretty cool fight. Um, it's going to be a release on this catch. I'll put it right out there, maybe. There we go. We got something. Something just touched it, at least. There we go. There we go. Nice. Okay, this is just, oh, it's a mangrove snapper. No way. I mean, we just caught one of these earlier, but that's kind of cool, guys. Just caught mine and a mangrove snapper from the same freaking area. Well, little mangrove snapper, really cool. We're catching these mangrove snapper like right next to mine cichlids. It's just such a cool environment where you're catching salt water and freshwater fish in the same place. It's gonna get released on this catch. Whoa, 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 something just followed that trout magnet. No way. <laughs> well, guys, that may be the first snook catch on a goddamn trout magnet I've ever seen. Oh my god, I need something followed it in. So there we go, guys, second snook of the trip. Uh, some, I don't know what fish this is, uh, but awesome little catch. It's going to get a release on this beautiful fish. You ready? Y'all ain't gonna believe this. We just had like a 20 inch snook blow up like right there on the bait. It missed it by like an inch. It was a big, big fish. Went after this twitch bait I just got, um, but that was insane. <laughs> I cannot believe that just happened. 
There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Good fish, good fish, good fish, good fish, good fish. No way. No way, no way. Oh, dang it. Bro, that was such an insane take, but really, had to be a freaking Mayan. I thought it was a snook for sure. That is cool still. That is still pretty cool. Let's get your butt. There we go. Oh, got ourselves on probably the last fish of the day. Beautiful mine on that Twitch bait. What an insane eat. I am annoyed I lost that 20, uh, 20 inch snook, but still a really cool catch. Let's go and get a release on this fish. See you later, bud. Got him. A oh, little mango snapper. All right, I got us on another little mangrove snapper. Beautiful little catch. It's gonna get a release on this fish. All right, you guys are not gonna believe this. I just looked up at something very strange. I don't know what that is. I think, I don't know what it is. Let, let, let me show you guys what this thing looks like. It's such a weird looking fish. All right, I don't know what this thing is, but I just caught it. Uh, it's a, uh, Honestly, I would tell you guys if I knew, but it's a cool looking fish, definitely a new species, which is awesome. Uh, he basically swallowed the hook, so I'm gonna have to work to get that out, but awesome fish. It's gonna get a release on this catch. All right, y'all, well, that was pretty cool. Just caught whatever that thing was. Um, let's go see what else we can catch. I only got another like half hour left here, but that's a new species, which is awesome. Oh, we got something. Oh my God, we had something right there. I don't know what that was. There we go, got him. What do we got here? Huh? Big old mine cichlid. All right, y'all, little mine. <sighs> All right, what is going on now? So that's gonna have to do it for today's video. Not exactly what I wanted to do. Unfortunately, I am really upset. I could not show you guys that first snook that I caught. Um, that was probably the best fish of the whole bunch that I caught. And also the first fish that I caught of the trip. But that being said, um, still cool day. We caught a couple new species, which is really awesome. And uh, yeah, let's see what else we can do tomorrow. That being said, next video we're gonna film is probably gonna be a video um, at Juno Pier, um, which will be really fun. So really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you've not already, make sure to hit the subscribe button and smash the notification bell. And I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out. What is going on y'all? So Chris here back again from the video for you all today. So hope you all enjoyed the last video I filmed at the uh, little hard trail pond. Today guys, we're here at Juno Pier with Promise. And we're gonna see what we can catch. Beautiful sunrise behind us. It's gonna be great. Let's see what we can do. All right, we got a lot of bait right here. It's all blown. I've got my little speaky rig tied on. Let's go ahead and uh, catch yourself some sardines. There we go. Just got another one of those little mackerel things. I don't know what that is. I've got no idea. These sardines? These are probably actually sardines. Oh, there's a big snook right there. Big snook. Got some big snook just cruised by our bait. Guys, we just had a huge run on this rod. Something just came over and chased it for a second. Oh my god. Guys, take a look at that. Look what that fish just did to my bait. That is fishing in Florida for you guys. I got no idea what the hell that did that, but that was a, I saw it chasing it after. That was insane. Let's go and get another bait out there. There we go. Oh, we got something big. There we go. Yep, 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 yep. Dang it. Yeah, I guess if it's something with teeth, that'll happen. Just 
Someone get a net. Net. I don't know if I can flip it. I got, I got really light um. Leader. Appreciate it, bro. Thank you. I appreciate it. Let's go. There we go, guys. First fish of the day. Beautiful common. So, pretty small one, but the biggest one I caught so far on the trip. Awesome catch. Let's go get a release on this fish. All right. See you later, bud. All right, guys. Well, super awesome. First catch for June up here. Let's go and see what else we can get here today. Honestly, I was not sure that was going to happen today, so super stoked. Second fish today. That went out for you. As soon as I drop that thing down. Okay. Woo. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Is it on? I think it is. All right, guys. There we go. What was that? Oh, damn. There we go, that happens. Straight me off. Yes, sir, we got the tarpon on right now. Yes, oh, yeah, sir. Tripod. You too. Got some grand footage right now. This is my line take off some hook set. I thought it was a bony or some shit. Excuse me, excuse me. Come on, move from the rod. Coming over. Are you gonna get past the gate? Oh. 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 On the YouTube. Hey, can you like put my Instagram in the caption? Like Andrew Schumacher catches big tarpon off Juno Beach Fishing Pier. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Let's go! Come on, give me one more jump. I'm fine with it. Oh I know, I had to jump right next to these. That was so sick. Well, I would know. But... All right, well, you guys saw the whole fight, but as y'all can see, that guy had a huge tarpon, probably 65 pounds. Actually, it's not huge for a tarpon. Pretty big fish anyway, though. Um, super awesome fight, though, but he ended up breaking off right here a few seconds ago. So it is what it is, but you know that was still a pretty cool fight. Let's see what else we can catch today. Flip or die, flip or die. What is going on guys? I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will say this, this is definitely not the most action-packed outing from Juno Pier. It was all right. Lost that big fish in the morning, lost one snook, and did manage to land one, which is great. There will be some better content at Juno coming up, I promise you guys. That being said, really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you've not already, make sure to hit the red subscribe button, smash the notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next video. What is going on guys, so Chris here, back again with another video for you all today. So as you guys can see, doing the intro back here in New York, I accidentally deleted the intro that I filmed for the video in Florida. For the third episode of the Treasure Coast series, I decided to take a break from the saltwater fishing and hit up some freshwater ponds, including this one right here called Pelican Lake. We're gonna see what we can catch. I am super excited because there are many freshwater species in Florida I have not yet caught. Of course, the video guys, about 87% of you guys watching right now are not subscribed. So if you've not already, make sure to hit the red subscribe button and smash the notification bell. Let's get into the video, shall we? One thing you guys may or may not know about me is that this is actually the first time I'm really fishing a purely freshwater pond in Florida. Actually, second time. The first time I fished it, there was a little canal where I caught my first peacock bass. This is the second time, and um, yeah, never actually caught a Florida largemouth. So I'm hoping we can uh, make that happen today, hopefully. Oh, there we go, got him, got him, no way. What do I got here? Yep, largemouth. That was so funny. There we go. Little guy, start the day. All right, guys, check it out. Beautiful little lodge. I obviously had a giant little dinker, but beautiful first catch of the day. Let's go and get a release on this fish. Super 
we're excited. We finally got our first Florida launch pass, although not a giant. Still a fish. Oh God, it's like a tree. All right, y'all, something is playing with the bait. There we go, got him. Oh, beautiful little Florida largemouth again. What's up, bud? About the same size, little thinker, but fish is in fact a fish. Let's go, boys. There we go, guys. Second fish today, beautiful largemouth. A little bit small, but still a thinker. It's going to get a release on this catch. All right, y'all. Just started getting hit on this rod. There we go. Got him. Oh, he jumped. Oh, he spit it. Damn. Just had him there. There we go. Got him. Got him. <laughs> what a sick freaking eat, dude. Sully better fish. Uh, what is going on guys so it's a little bit later in the day i decided to meet down here i can already see this is a different pond and i can already see quite a few little bass in the water we're gonna see what we can catch all right y'all a lot of little bass in the water in front of me here they're all pretty small so not exactly what i'm looking for there we go i think that's a bluegill but i honestly can't tell it's a weird looking sunfish for sure oh big old mine sick with the hook i'm just gonna release this little guy now see you later bud all right, y'all. Let's go and see if we can catch some of these fish. Got him. There we go. There we go. Big old Mayan. So sick. Nice catch. Obviously, nothing to really brag about, but... Let's see you later, bud. All right, I'll switch off to a little trout magnet here. There we go. Got something. Oh, that's a largemouth. Nice. Bass picked that up. Oh, there we have it, y'all. Little dinker largemouth in Florida, but a largemouth nonetheless. Nothing good sized here, probably because I'm using a damn trout magnet. I'm trying to catch some bait, and this thing came up and picked it up. Awesome little catch. It's going to go to race on this largie. All right, let's get back to what you're we trying to do, which is catch a a little sunny or something to use this bait. All right, y'all gonna believe this, but a guard just picked up my trout magnet. It's right here. Let's, oh my God. Ugh. Yeah, those things are uh, really hard to hook. All right, guys, well, that's gonna be for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I did catch a couple large mouths today, which is cool. Caught a couple of mine cichlids and uh, sunfish. Not sure if they were all bluegill, so maybe some new species there would be really awesome. Nope. And uh, hooked a gar, and I lost it. So that was annoying. But still really stoked to manage to get a freshwater video and thought it would be all salt water this time, but um, that was still pretty cool. That being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you've not already, make sure to hit the red subscribe button and smash the notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Well, what is going on guys? Chris here, back again with another video for you all today. So as y'all can see, I am up really bright and early. It is currently 5.55 a.m. We're gonna see if we can catch pier opens in about four minutes. Super, super excited. Go for today, hopefully catch a couple of snook, but I'm really hoping we try to hook into something else, like a tarpon or a bonita, or just something a little bit different, because the only big fish we've really caught from the pier itself is a snook. That being said, before it's the video, guys, about 87% of you guys watching right now are not subscribed. So if you're not already, make sure to hit the red subscribe button and smash the notification bell. Now let's go to the video. Shall we? It's only a matter of time. Thank <laughs> you. 
Listen. Alright, I'll just hook up to a snook. There we go. Oh boy, that's a really good fish. He's taking me back. Someone get a net ready if possible. Oh boy, I think it's all wrapped up. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. Yeah. yeah, I can feel him pulling. I just don't know what I should do. Uh, just flip your bail. Yeah. Let him swim out, right? Okay. All right, guys. I don't know if y'all saw that we just had the snook. He's still on. He's just uh, all wrapped up behind a piling. Took me in there. All right, guys. So, yeah, the snook is currently uh, just swimming around. I'm trying to get him out. <laughs> still wrapped up. Okay, okay. You just go then. up to something I think yeah it's a mangrove snapper there we go that's just the day all right guys just hooked up to the first fish of the day one piece of live bait that's a snook yeah I can pull him there we go little snook Guys, there we have it. First fish of the day. Beautiful common snook. About uh, I don't know, about 20 inches or so. Small fish, but first fish of the day nonetheless. Let's go and get a release on this catch. All right. See you later, bud. Let's go, guys. I was not expecting that. That was actually on the cup bait, believe it or not. It's the first time I caught a snook here in cup bait. That's really cool. Let's go and see what else we can catch. All right, guys. That was the first fish of the day. Well, common snook on the cup bait. It's the first time that ever happened for me. I'll put you right down there, just like so. And uh, yeah, see what else we can get. I, am wicked, you're insane. I just got him by like his tail or something. Uh, there. Oh yeah, damn. Oh, I think he just not mm -hmm. Jake, what is that, a black tip? Or? Dude, it's a black tip. I think it's a little spinner though. Oh, maybe. a spinner shot. Look at that, guys. It's going to try to put it in the net still first. Get the line now. Oh boy. Yeah, drop it. Flip. Oh. Good, good, good. Flip it. Yeah, good shit. What happened? No. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Watch 
Lucky, you are so hot. saw that we just got that tarpon all the way and that was insane uh really cool catch i know i didn't really explain what was happening but but it fell in the water well oh, oh, fell in the water this oh really yeah oh damn yeah it's waterproof huh it's waterproof the phone oh, massive <laughs> fuck you got me all right, what is going on guys? So as you can see, my camera apparently did actually fall in the water during the fight. F11 Pro does have some waterproofing capabilities, thank God. So it's perfectly fine. Really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Kind of a jumble up of other people's catches and my own. I do want to mention one thing. You guys only saw me lose that one fish in the morning and catch that one a little bit later in the day. I hooked up to actually quite a few more fish than that. Only thing is they kept on breaking me off. Each of the other fights were only about 15 seconds. And the GoPro did not start up in time. And having this issue where I press start and it takes a while for it to actually turn on and start recording. So I did hook up to a couple other fish. I just didn't show them. There was plenty of other action in the video, so I was not too upset about that. Really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you have not already, make sure to hit the red subscribe button and smash the notification bell. And I'll see you guys on the next one. What is going on guys, Chris here back again with another video for you all today. Welcome to the fourth episode here uh, of the series. I'm at this fishing pier where supposedly people have been able to catch bull sharks. Super excited to see what we can do. I have a whole bonita, I'm gonna cut some up, fish them in between the pilings here, and we're gonna see if we can catch some sharks. That being said, before it's the video guys, about 87% of you guys watching right now are not subscribed. So if you're not already, make sure to hit the red subscribe button and smash the notification bell. Let's get into this video, shall we? All right, y'all, take a look at the bait that we're going to be using today. This is a whole bonita right here. We're going to be using this to hopefully get ourselves on some sharks. All right, as you guys can see, we're going to go ahead and just cut off the tail here of a bonita. All right, guys, go and pitch this bait right out there. Let's see what happens. guys first fish of the day let's see probably a little mangrove yeah, yeah. or something i think it's how big is it what the hell are you doing yeah, you got something. Big. swimming in circles yo bermuda chub it's a bermuda chub this thing's playing some dang hard yeah it's a bermuda chub i believe it's what it's called there we go thanks i really appreciate it Oh, there we go, guys. First fish of the day. Beautiful little muted chub, new species. 
Awesome catch. Uh, I'm gonna give it to the folks over here who helped me actually land the fish. But uh, yeah, first one. Let's go see what else we can catch. All right, you want me to fish somewhere? Or... Oh, the for sure. There you guys go. What was that? Appreciate that. No problem. Thanks for helping me land it. Uh oh! Y'all ain't gonna believe this, we just hooked up. Oh my god, this is a big fish. Oh, he's really big. Oh, it's right there! Look, look, look! Okay, that was insane. I saw the thing pick up the bait. Phew! Oh my god. Oh. Really big fish, guys. I can barely move it. Yeah, I'm trying to think how I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Stop that! Stop that! <laughs> I have like no light on this. Oh. All right, what should I do with this? I don't even know. I, I didn't plan this far into it. Well, uh, can you? Yeah. I got, we got a net. You can yeah. bring him up right here. Oh yeah, let's see, let's see how big he is. Oh shoot, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Oh, it's a barracuda. No way, it's a huge barracuda. Huge barracuda, it's not a shark, it's a huge cuda. Not in the structure, not in the structure, not in the structure. Oh. Oh, oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh, bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. That scared the living daylight out of me. All right, wait, 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 Oh, bang, 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 bang. Oh, no. Get him. Yeah, get him, get him, get him. Oh. Bang. He's a little bit big for the net. We might have to just beach him. All right, we're, we're, we're pretty tangled in the net, so. Get him, get him, get him. Pull up. Ah. No, I just need him to get in there. So ah. he can pull him up. <laughs> it's a massive kuda. All right, can we walk him down? We're going to have to walk him down. As long as he get his head out of the water, we should be okay. See if he can try now, maybe. This thing's head. basically dead. If you can get his head, okay, that might be it. Right no, 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 he's too freaking big. You think so? No, you got it. You got him, you got him, you got him. Don't jump out Okay. Good shit, my man. Thanks, bro. No, no, no. Oh! He ain't going nowhere, he hurt. He wasn't that joke would jump though. He's good, he's tired. As soon as he, as soon as he moves, then you can... Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah! Uh, all right, there he goes. Did he fall? Yeah. Does that count as a catch from the pier? Yeah, that counts. Damn, I wish I could have held him though. What are you fishing with, bro? I was going for sharks. I didn't even think that would happen. God damn, you did good, bro. Yeah, I definitely give you that. Okay. Thanks, man. I really appreciate it. What's your name, man? William. William, thank you so much for helping me film that. Guys, that was insane. Unfortunately, I was not able to actually bring the fish onto the pier, but that was still the biggest fish number one from the series so far. Um, I think it does count because we got it to the pier, and as, as you guys know, most of the, you know, catches from piers you can't actually bring up from the net like that. We almost had him in the net like five times. Um, we had him a couple times bringing him up, but that was a huge barracuda. Um, first one ever caught, so super, super stoked. Let's go and see what else we can catch. As you guys can see, it is the following day. Out here again, got a shark bait out. And uh, yeah, this time I also have a little bit of shrimp on a hook. Now I'm gonna try to catch ourselves a little bit of bait. Get ourselves on a snook or something that lives in the pilings. I think it's called like a snapper or something, it feels like that. All right guys, just got to something. I was trying to catch bait. Okay. Oh, it's like a huge mohara or something. Oh yeah, it's a big mohara. That's a giant mohara. <laughs> the size of that thing.
Alright guys, so I had the camera off. I have a little nurse shark on here. I am talking to him. He is moving though. I can still feel it rubbing though. Finally out of the structure. All right, I'm gonna try a beach it over there. Appreciate it, guys. Let's get this guy in. I still have not seen him. Oh, okay. Oh, big nurse truck. All right, let's see if we can try to walk this guy over. I'm pretty sure it's already basically caught fish before we get him this close to the pier, but I would like to see if I can land him. Hey man, do you think you can help me out here? Um, let him go if he needs to. Okay, safe transfer. All right, let's go land this fish. Get over here, bud. Whew. He's got a big remora on him too. Line is completely frayed up too from the pylons. Mm. Yeah, bud. Yep, that's what I like to see. Oh. All right, it's a little bit more. All right, there we go. Ooh, not like that one bit. All right. Well, there we go, guys. First fish of the day. Beautiful uh, nurse shark. First one I ever caught. Biggest fish in my life, too. Uh, which is pretty awesome. Uh, just letting him sit in the water so he can breathe a little bit. But what an awesome, awesome fish to catch! I am super, super stoked to manage to do this. Look at this! Uh, look at this little remora he's got on him. Get over here. Yeah. He does not want to give up. But uh, yeah, we just landed him, guys. Biggest fish. But what an awesome fish to finally be able to catch! Super, super stoked. Let's go and get a release on this catch. What's up, bud? What a beautiful, beautiful fish. All right, so what's your name, man? Uh, Wadrian. Wadrian? Yeah. Thank you so much, man, for helping me land that fish. Yeah. If it wasn't for him, I probably would not be able to land it. He filmed me the rod. He filmed like half the experience. It was super, super awesome. Got my biggest fish in my life. Let's go and see what else we can catch. All right, what is going on, guys? Really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, yeah, pretty insane day. Caught the third biggest fish of my life, which is that barracuda, and the first biggest, which is the nurse shark. I know both of those are considered trash fish. Never really understood why barracuda are considered that. I know you can't really eat them or you get that weird sickness or whatever. They put up such an amazing fight, and the nurse shark was just fun because I never caught a fish that big. Like, no, not even close. Like, it just, it just not even close. So that being said, if you've not already, make sure to hit the red subscribe button and smash the notification bell, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Well, good morning, y'all. Chris here, back again with another video for you all today. So as you guys can see, another beautiful morning here in Jupiter, South Florida. We are back here at Juno Pier, as y'all can see. Let's see what we can do. That being said, before we see the video, guys, about 87% of you guys watching right now are not subscribed. So if not already, make sure to hit the red subscribe button and smash the notification bell. Let's catch yourself some fish, shall we? All right, as you guys can see, I got myself first rig of the day here. Oh, uh, three ounce lead here, barrel swivel, some uh, 40 pound uh, fluoro, five ounce circle hook, and a little piece of thread fin on here. I'm gonna go and push this down, probably right under here. Yeah, so let's uh, see if this gets hit. All right, this rod was down there for like a couple seconds and we already got a stuck on. It's kind of crazy to me. Oh, 
up here, bud. There you go, first look of the day. Super dive. There you go. Let's go, first fish. There we go, y'all. First fish of the day. Beautiful common snook. It's about uh, 20 inches or so. Small guy. Let's go and see what else we can catch. Alright, let's go get this fish back. See you later, bud. Okay. One. There he goes. Alright, let's go and see what else we can catch. Oh, wow, y'all. The activity today is pretty insane. A lot of people getting on fish. Um, so I'm just gonna go and check out some live bait first. I've been using cut bait. Caught one snook on that already today. What, what's not the like about this guy? What's one of those things? What the hell? He caught a... I got it. Bro, can I eat that? Alright guys, yeah, I just caught this, uh, moonfish. I guess it's a new species, so. Oh, right, I'll take a look at this. This is a new species for me. It's a, it's a moonfish. Look at that. I think it's freaking crazy, but it's gonna get a release on the sketch. Ew. Hey, hey, hey. You better, you better go that way. Okay, yeah. You better run, bro. Hey, yo, yo. All right, guys. Uh, I just hooked up to the target. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? You gotta go. You gotta go. I'm gonna be smoking you. I got you, bro. That was really poorly played. All right, well, as you guys can see, yeah, that was a super unfortunate chain of events right there. As you guys can see, hooked a tarpon on the last hour on my last outing there at Gino Pier. I've been trying to catch one the entire time I was there and finally pitching a live pilchard out and just casting it straight out there. I did hook one, but I only fought it for less than a minute. In case you guys couldn't tell what was happening, that fish basically started swimming down the pier towards the beach. I started running after it, but it decided to do a 180 and turn back around in the opposite direction and it started really pulling drag. When a fish is pulling drag like that, you know, my natural instinct is to stay rooted to the ground and just let it run. But um, obviously that was not the right move because you can't really do that with fish that big. That fish was like 60 pounds. So I started chasing after it, but I did it way too late. And at that point, the fish is putting so much pressure on the line, it eventually just snaps. Um, I am happy that my rig actually held up. I think that snap was the braid itself. For redemption, I decided to try and film the rest of the video at the Jupiter Inlet, which I did manage to catch this nice mangrove snap for about 12 inches or so. A couple other little fish and uh, this really nice snook, which is about 25 inches to 30 inches. Unfortunately, I seem to have misplaced that footage. So um, I was not able to actually put together the rest of the footage, but we did have those clips right there. Really annoying to end the series on that note, but unfortunately guys, all good things must come to an end. The Trekker Coast was honestly probably the best series I ever filmed. First time filming a series with a drone, I was super happy how those shots turned out. Honestly, just overall, the series, in my opinion, was a success. Managed to catch several very nice snook, almost landed a huge barracuda, which I think does count as a catch from up here. And caught that messenger shark as well, which was awesome. And caught some really interesting other catches along the way, like I've looked out for today's video on the Big Mouth Sleeper from the first episode of the series. I've been doing this YouTube thing for about three years now, and, and although I don't have quite the following that I would have hoped for or expected at this time, um, I really love fishing, I love filming, I love bringing out the content for you guys, making these series. The whole shebang is just such a passion for me, and I really enjoy it. And I thank you guys who are watching right now for allowing me to do this and watching my content has really means the world to me. In two weeks, we're gonna be filming another series in the US Virgin Islands, again, at the island of St. John, which is the same place that I filmed off the mainland last year. So I know the good spots, I know where the tarpon are. That being said, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I hope you guys love the Treasure Coast just as much as I love filming and editing it. And I'll see you guys on the next one.